uh, yeah, I suppose we've had um, a reasonable start to the comp, but um, as I said, it's, it's a game by game thing, particularly in a World Cup where uh, every match is worth two points and um, we need to front up every game and, and put our best foot forward. Um, tomorrow's going to be a new day. Uh, we haven't played yet here at Manchester and um, it looks like a good wicket. Um, so we'll have to start with both scores at zero and, and um, hopefully put a good foot forward. I think we've been talking about, well, we, we definitely have been talking about that the whole um, World Cup. There's been talk before the Cup sort of started about big scores. And um, yeah, as I said, every ground's different. So um, we sort of do our scouting for um, the team we're playing. Obviously, West Indies tomorrow. Um, they've got some exciting hitters. Um, but of course, we've got to scout the ground as well. It's a, it's a big ground and it's, it's a good wicket, which often a lot of runs are scored. So. Uh, as I said, we'll start from 0-0, zero, zero, but um, the boys are taking a lot of confidence from you know um, the areas we've been hitting at the start of this competition, and hopefully we can continue that sort of confidence going forward. I think it still plays for sure. Um, you know they batted very well in that warm-up game, um, Bristol, and um, you know put us under a lot of pressure in a warm-up game too, but. Um, for sure, we'll be taking some of the learnings we took from that game. Um, start again, obviously scores are zero, but um, there's no secret that the West Indies have a, a powerful lineup all the way through. Uh, and as a bowling unit, we need to learn to, if they get on a roll, we need to learn to shut down areas and um, build up pressure again and, and hopefully take wickets. But um, yeah, it's no secret in this comp that that West Indies has a, a very powerful lineup. Yeah.